Good morning, Tank Chums, and yeah, it's the Firefly. Introduced into the series with some, well, no small amount of fanfare, I rapidly realised that it's not all that, is it? Not really. And I looked again at it, and I think the reason I haven't been playing it much recently is because... Well, not I haven't got to grips with it, obviously. Not getting, get to grip, not getting to grips with it is a problem. But more importantly, the next thing I've got to grind out is the suspension, and that is probably the least interesting thing to grind in World of Tanks. You know, a new turret, you'll get a better view range, hopefully. You might be able to mount some more interesting guns. Uh, the traverse speed will go up. It'll, there's benefits to it. You might even get more armor if you're lucky. Uh, new gun, obviously very important. New engine. Um, if you're a chap who enjoys going very quickly in tanks, like I often do, you'll agree engine upgrades are amazing. Radio upgrades are a little more difficult to appreciate, but when you've got a good radio it is nice. But suspension upgrades just feel really, really underwhelming. I know they give you some other stuff apart from load limit, but I find it quite difficult to appreciate, and I'm going to hide behind so I. Well, no, we can hide behind, I mean, Sherman Farflight going up a hill is actually faster than the other one, which is, in a way, amazing, because I'm used to the Sherman being the slowest thing on the field, but the OI, of course, wins all kinds of prizes for being as slow as something really slow. I was going to say slow as balls, but perhaps it's a little bit early in the morning for that. Speaking of mornings, I'm sorry that there wasn't an episode yesterday. It was bank holiday, I kind of forgot. Um, everyone was basically at home all day yesterday, so I didn't really have a point where I could sort of sit down and record stuff without feeling incredibly awkward. For some reason, talking to essentially myself in the microphone, fine, talking to, to myself while other people are around, weird and horrible, and I don't know why, why I clicked. Needs, needs more coffee, that's the answer, coffee and biscuits. Okay, I can see you apparently. Hmm, don't know how. Well, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Nope. There's still an M4 over there. There's something else in the cap cycle. Aha! Oh. Come on, Mark. Right, what about a KV85? Yeah, I'd rather not shoot a KV85, especially if he's got friends, which he does. Of course he does. Uh. And Covenant is not too scary. And there's only a bishop for... Oh no, you are looking at me. Yep. Oh, and who forgot to bring consumables? It's me! Of course I did. Oh, uh, I guess maybe the good news is... Maybe he's more scared of me than I am of him. Waiting for that shot from an SPG to land on my top. It didn't happen. Oh. He is saved by the skin of his teeth. If you stay there, that would be marvellous. Thank you. I need damage because this game is not going well. And now you're looking at me? Yeah. But it's too late, matey. It's too late. I needed the experience. Um, and you needed to not be alive. Hail Mary shot at a leopard. Can't really see. I'm a bit concerned that there's basically 260 hit points worth of tank holding three pretty healthy looking tanks up. That is a bit scary. Oh, I don't like this. Don't like this at all. I mean, should I stay or should I go? Now, if I go, there could be trouble. But 
something tells me that remaining where I am could lead to twice as much trouble. So I'm going to leave. Sorry, Dickamax. But, yeah, I, I, I know. Um, but there's a lot of scary tanks there, and I would rather actually not have to deal with that at all, given the choice between... Oh, who? Well, the things on the hill took their revenge. I knew that hill was going to be the death of me. I should try going down columns one and two for once. I mean, look, this guy's on column one and two, and he's having a whale of a time. Look at him. What about this chap here? Uh, um, well, he wants to covenant her, and that's fine. But he's paying a very high price. I think he's given up. Which is fair. I mean, I get that too. Everyone gets that. You know, let's be honest. Everyone goes in this game. Ugh. Not going well. Sod it. But when there's a... It's, it's 4v4. You know, we've, we've still got good odds. Once the KV1's down and the Skoda's down, it's just a pair of SPGs. And fighting down SPGs is... Is you know it's it's fun. It's what people in light tanks should be living for. Got an AMX. Oh. AMX. Oh, this is. Now he moves. <clears throat> Let's enjoy our cup of coffee. Here it is. Oh, that's nice. And there we go. Okay, that. Maybe he's kind of going for like a pacifist option where he's not going to shoot at the champ, but. Ah, well, it's still um, 3 for 3, apparently. That was weird, wasn't it? I mean, I'm not a great. I mean, I'm not a good World of Tanks player, but. And now he's saying things about. Other people, obviously, and I guess you know, he's trying to keep eyes on the scope to T25. Maybe he was hoping that other people were going to shoot it, but <laughs> this guy's just been hiding in the camp circle. How has he got away with this nonsense? I never know. Well, you're gonna go away for it for long. And now it's time for the T24, who is hungry for kills. Hungry like the wolf. Can that KV see him? Maybe the top of his time. Well, that was a hit. And another hit. And another hit. Wow, that gun is accurate. Okay, I jinxed him. Of course, of course I jinxed him. There we go. If I just don't look, I'm just gonna look away. Okay. So, the T25 is there. And the FE304 is a very fast little SPG. It could be happily in the camp circle now, and it's actually the T25 that's out moving around. That would be a surprising turn up. Because obviously the T24 is thinking, well, I'm going to go and kill the SPG now. Kill the SPG. And then from the hill, look down to the camp circle. You should be able to see everyone from up there. It's a pretty good place to be. But yeah, the FE304 has moved away. Because it's an FE304. Hmm. It's fast. That's, that's kind of what it does. It's It's... It's fast and small and annoying, and I'll be honest, I kind of want one, but that's... I know that that leads down a very dark path, you know, if you start actually wanting to play an SPG... Hmm... Yeah, I mean, I do have some SPGs in the box. 
have tried playing an SPG in the past. Well, there is everybody. There's, at least there's one person in the camp cycle. I love this new change where you can see how many people are in the camp cycle. Well, up to three, I think. If you park more people, it doesn't affect the camp speed. So, yeah, it's the FE304 in the camp circle. And the T25 is running around looking for kills. I'm trying to dislodge the FE304 from the camp circle. It might be a little difficult because you turn around the corner, if you. That FE304 gets a shot at you, it's going to be painful for the T24. So it's a, a tier 5 tank, it's not really designed to take SPG shells to the face or the side or the back or the top. Also the camera range on that FE304 is crazy good. Oh. Bonk! Don't do that! No! Well... This is going to be a very interesting four and a half minutes. The AMX 13AM hidden in the bush. So, one of the lessons that I've learned from playing with the tanks is don't ever put yourself in front of an enemy SPG. Just as a general rule, don't do it. It is really worth it. Even though ramming is funny, it means that all he has to do is reverse and then he'll shoot you. Against SPGs that can actually see you, the best defense is to keep moving. This is... I mean, I'm showing for the AMX 13AM because he's on our team, but also he's an SPG driver, so... Mm, I'm not showing for him that much. Nice. 